I think we're doing the fr frittata, right? Veggie yes, frittata. Uh -huh. For that, we need one cup red bell pepper chopped, one small onion chopped, one medium zucchini cut into one half inch cubes, two 12 ounce packages mori new tofu, firm is best, but any kind will do, one quarter cup nutritional yeast flakes, one quarter cup cornstarch, and one teaspoon salt or salt substitute. You also need one and a half teaspoons garlic and herb seasoning, one and a quarter teaspoon Italian seasoning, one quarter teaspoon turmeric, two teaspoons lemon juice, and one cup lightly packed chopped spinach. I'm excited about this recipe, Leslie, because I like anything with veggies in it. To me, it's just my favorite. I mean, I like sweet, and that's good, but something with veggies is really good. Oh, yes, and they're so good for you. So let's get right on it. Okay, we are going to start with our skillet. Make sure I'm turning this up. Okay. There we go. You could use a small amount of oil. If you're trying to watch your calories, you can use a small amount of water. Okay. We're going to add our red bell pepper. Nice. And our onions. Just something about the aroma of oh, onion yes. and pepper, just <laughs> amazing. And then we have some diced zucchini here. So yes, this is the Jill recipe with oh. all these <laughs> amazing vegetables. Yep. Okay. So we're going to saute this. We're going to actually let this saute while we go ahead and work on the creamy filling for yes. the frittata. Okay. Okay. Do you want to keep an eye on that for me while I we can. do this? Make sure it doesn't burn. Make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, back to our Ooh, wonderful good. blender again. You know, cooking is so much more enjoyable when you have good tools. Yeah. And if I could only have one good tool in my kitchen, it'd be a blender. It would be my blender. Absolutely. I love my blender in the kitchen. It Absolutely. Makes such a difference. Absolutely. Now this is a silken tofu, but you could use the water packed tofu as well in that. So we'll carefully get this into the blender. The silken tofu is great when you want to make something creamy or blended, whereas the water pack is great for a scrambled tofu or something mm -hmm. along those lines. Okay, so we have our tofu in the blender. We're going to add nutritional yeast flakes, which have a cheesy nice. flavor, and some lemon juice, mm -hmm. salt, the cornstarch will help thicken it up to kind of give it that eggy texture. Nice. And then we will go ahead and blend this into a creamy sauce. You need a spatula? I do, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just pack that down a little bit. When it's bit. pretty thick, you got to get that in there. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll start slow. Just stir it a little bit here. We're actually almost there. Yay. This shirt smells good over here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have a nice creamy a blender, blended base, nice. and we're going to stir this right into that. Mm. So we can shut the heat off on that, actually. Perfect. Pour this right in. Now the nutritional yeast in here is amazing. One mm. tablespoon of nutritional yeast has four grams of protein. Nice. You know, so sometimes people get real worried being a vegetarian. You're gonna get enough protein. So it does, and it also has a, a lot of fiber. Yeah. And B vitamins, which are great for your it's good with B12, isn't it? It's good with B12. It's fortified. Well, many of them are fortified with B12, but B vitamins are good for your nerves. And mm -hmm. So we've got this added. Thank you. Yeah. Then we're going to add some spinach. Now, if somebody mm. is on blood thinners and they're concerned about the green leafies, in this recipe, you could go ahead and use artichoke hearts. Just cut them a little bit. Oh, okay. We'll add a little bit of turmeric for color. Yeah, okay. And... Our Italian seasoning, and then we have a garlic and herb seasoning here. Mm. Now, if your garlic and herb seasoning has salt in it, you may want to reduce the salt a little. Got you. So a okay. lot of them are salt free. Yep. Okay. So we're just going to stir this up. Nice. And doesn't that look yummy? Oh, Ooh. yes, it's going to be yummy. And then we will just go ahead and give the pan a little spray. Yeah. Okay. Jill, do you want to oh, scoop it in there for me? 
Yummy. And as this bakes, the turmeric will give it more of the yellow color. It needs to heat a little bit before it actually brings out that rich yeah. color. There we go. Great. We'll just smooth that a little bit. Oh, yes. Smells fabulous. Now a frittata is basically a quiche without a crust. Mm -hmm. And there we go. What that you, will go in the oven. What do you bake it for? We bake this for an hour. Mm -hmm. um, in our sample one, we made minis mm -hmm. in little muffin pans. I love that. How and, cute. Yes, and so those only take about 25 or 30 minutes. And then you can just round out the meal with a sweet potato and Nice. Something sweet for the end, like some grapes, and you've got a great meal. Oof, I can't wait to try that, and I am going to try that, I assure you. Okay, Oof, all right, that great. That looks really good, yummy. Do you do all these recipes in your cooking schools before we go to the pita here? Yes, we do them in our cooking classes. Uh, for one class that we did, we actually did hands-on. And so we were in a commercial kitchen, and everybody got in there. We had four different stations, and people tried their hand at it, which really is a big help mm -hmm. um, if your church or could organize a little hands-on thing, that's great for people to feel more confident. Yeah. yeah, don't you think it makes a difference? Because I could be sitting there saying, well, I don't know how to cook this way, and I don't know exactly what I'm doing, and I can watch someone else do it, yes. but if I don't do it myself, you learn a lot better when you actually get in yourself and do it yourself. So Absolutely. I can see that would be very valuable. Step by step, you know, just watching that, yeah. so yeah. it's a very good thing. Now,